Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning and Life Hacks. Have you ever wondered what happens when you put hydrogen peroxide into your dishwasher? I have something cool to show you. Look down in here. This dishwasher got super stinky. Why you may be asking yourself, Andrew Jean? Bear with me as I lug this tray out. The wheels fell off. I'm gonna make a different video on that and how we're gonna fix it. But the wheel got stuck down you can see a little bit right in there little remnants the wheel got stuck in there so you can imagine everything in here particularly the plastic smelled like a burnt wheel in fact my entire house smelled like a burnt wheel so if you're struggling with dishwasher smells or how about spots on your glasses i've tried all the home remedies you know you put the vinegar in here and then you shut this maybe you sprinkle a little baking soda down there it doesn't really work that well i have something even better for you and I have soft water in my home, yet I still had a ton of spots. Now, how do we use the hydrogen peroxide and how much should you use? It really depends upon the smells. You wanna make sure that you are, bear with me as I lug that tray back in there, that you are wiping down inside of here. You can do that with hydrogen peroxide. You can just do that with a warm rag, anything, because a lot of food likes to get stuck in there. Also, make sure that you are changing this filter. I made a previous video on that as well. It's about why don't use dishwasher packs in my dishwasher but right in here here you can put your hydrogen peroxide now if you don't like that option you can go ahead and dump it directly inside of the tub right here you can see this closes and then when it's time to be released it all just dumps into the bin anyway in fact i'm going to show you something here really cool that may surprise you also pull right now how many of you see these lines right here in your dishwasher that says hard water and soft water. If you have hard water, you're supposed to fill your dishwasher detergent to here and soft water to here. Real quick, let me take you inside my cupboard. See all these glasses right in here? These would be filled entirely with water spots despite my best efforts. And vinegar is not my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and twist off this cap right here. Now, like I said, you can go ahead and fill your hydrogen peroxide inside of this slot right here where you would typically put dun 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 your Ritz Aid. This works okay. It's not my favorite favorite I have something better for you and you can just dump it directly inside of here probably about three quarters of a cup to a half a cup right before you are ready to run your dishwasher now you may be saying Andrew you're gonna do that with the dishes in there yeah you absolutely can in fact a lot of people will gargle with this so if it's okay for you to gargle then it's gonna be okay for you to wash your dishes couple things right here let me just show you on the back of this do you see my friend what are one of the main ingredients in here citric Acid. Now, if you don't want to use the Finish Jet Dry, you can go ahead and get yourself some citric acid. I use this in a lot of different cleaning videos. Now, to boost your hydrogen peroxide and help with the smells, the hydrogen peroxide is going to be great for cleaning and getting those water spots off your dishes. I like to dump baking soda in there. In fact, I use this almost every single time I wash my dishes and I just dump it down inside. Now, for the moment of truth, one of my favorite things when it comes to water spots has been this and i have tried everything on the market it's a dish detergent booster this is not sponsored but what do we see here as our main ingredient citric acid yes 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 now how often should you be doing this hydrogen peroxide and baking soda combination by the way you can just use straight hydrogen peroxide if you do not want to add the baking soda totally depends on you i would recommend doing this at least once a week because these dishwashers can get real nasty but we run ours every single day oh and for those of you that are wondering how long did it take for you to get that burnt smell out of all of your dishes in the dishwasher about three washes with this strategy all right click this video on screen now for some additional cleaning and life hacks give it a thumbs up lots of freebies in that description box below and i will see you my friend in the next one